Hello Scorpio, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. This is your reading for May 15th through 31st. I'm sorry, my microphone fell off. <laughs> May 15th through 31st. Um, I'm doing this one a little different. Underneath the cards you have the Psychic Tarot and a clarifier from the Morgan Greer deck on top. I did that because I wanted to do more of an intuitive read this time, okay? So your overall energy is the Six of Wands and you have the star in reverse, okay? Six of Wands dictates that there's victory or success, that you've done something to, to move you towards that success and other people are noticing it or the success is with, with others involved, okay? The star in reverse means that uh, there's time to be patient. It's like you're losing faith and it's just a reminder from the universe to be patient. Okay, So it looks like you're trying to gain some success or some acknowledgement from someone um, and you're losing faith in the situation but you have to hold on. Okay, You have to hold on. In the center you have material harvest which is the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in reverse so this could have to do with work and this could have to do with someone that you've known for a long time is what I'm hearing for some of you so if it's someone you've known for a long time the relationship that you have with them is is not very strong okay um, it's not very balanced um, either you're a mother or, or this is your mother um, the relationship is not or, or you feel like a mother figure I should say for some of you it doesn't feel really balanced you don't feel secure like fulfilled in this relationship with them it's it's uneasy for those of you that has to, this has to do with work um you're secure in work like work is going fine but it's interfering with your family or your your social life um not your social life but just like family commitment I want to say so you start off with the seven of cups and the seven of swords in upright okay and I feel like you have ideals of how you want this situation to go And you're trying to reevaluate if like you're looking at this wrong or this person is being deceitful. Right, because it's messing with your home life and your family. And you're trying to take control, which is why you're even giving it enough that you're even communicating or are dealing with it okay okay because you're just trying to be perceptive and see the situation or if there's something that you can do so next you have the throat chakra and the nine of wands in reverse okay so the throat chakra is all about the need to communicate something, all about the need to um, receive communication or give communication or think of things in a different way. Um, yeah, just to think of things in a different way. Because you want that victory in whatever this is and you want them to understand where you're coming from. Um, but you get distracted 
either by the things that they say to you without possibly thinking it through or the things that you say to them kind of distracts the goal of what you're trying to accomplish because I feel like either you don't trust this person it is something about trust or deception it's, it's like you're like yeah I don't know I don't really know what this person is about I don't really know what this situation is about so I'll s stay in here and see but it's like you're the moon energy comes up which lets me know that there's a, a bit of fear a bit of standoffishness about it and you can't see the whole picture okay it doesn't mean that you're still not moving forward you still could be moving forward in this and even though you can't see but i just feel like you're being conscious uh, conscious of it okay because what i'm getting from this because it fell out is that you have a lot of stuff going on in your life that it seems destined to you and that you're working on that you have manifested for yourself and you're not going to let this distract or destroy it in some sort of way so the reason why you're even dealing with this is this okay it's because it has turned your life upside down okay it feels like there is a, a opening like a lack of closure in your life and there's still a opera like the ace of cups is about love and harmony and pleasure and joy okay so you still have feelings for this person for this situation it still has some sort of uh, abundance in you there could be a child involved i don't know why i just heard that um but you're starting to lack patience because it's it's hindering your family life your family security okay and you can't gain control of it okay you're trying to gain control over you're trying to get some foundations going or some sort of structure within this situation but you just can't just doesn't seem to be happening that way okay so you're taking everything that you have learned and moving forward trying to figure out how to move forward to a calmer place whether it's with or without this person which i feel like we're going to find out here shortly so next you have 20 which is judgment and the page of rods mm. judgment is about a wake-up call rebirth okay uh making a choice you're balancing your scales you're trying to figure out what's best for you which side you want to be on of 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 this choice okay in this union with with, the, with whoever this person is okay because it's time for you to heal you you're like i'm tired of feeling this need i'm ready to heal i don't care how you know i, I feel like okay i feel like you take a moment to jump into this okay I feel like you jump into it and you're open to the possibilities <laughs> you see that there's an opportunity even though with the two of cups in reverse there's some sort of disharmony in your partnership okay and you're moving forward to try to heal that and you're doing it enthusiastically okay so I guess that was the answer Okay, and then you have, this is the full card, New Beginnings and the Empress, okay? So you take a leap of faith uh, to, for motherhood, for abundance, for your own security, for your own growth. You take a leap of faith, okay? The Empress dictates that there is some growth there. Exactly, this card keeps coming up. So this is an opportunity for you to establish something secure, okay? And it may seem like even though you jumped out with this page of wands energy that there's no direction okay but that's okay it's okay and it may not seem like there's any direction but you're going towards this ten of cups and that's like a uh, peace within the situation a positive outcome so keep moving forward okay it's like that's what you see and that's what's there for you all right um and then in the last row you have um, heartbreak and loss in reverse which is about healing it's a it's the seven of swords but it's about healing so your healing is moving forward and it's coming in fast and it's coming in with passion meaning that you feel that energy and you're really doing it you're feeling it um i feel like um the other person is actually working with you which makes gives you that feeling of being healed you can't feel healed by yourself okay uh so I, I really think that this other person is yeah exactly 
it's like whatever ideals you put into play about this relationship is working okay it's working it's moving forward you're at the two stage so you went from one to two which means that there was some sort of decision made okay and you're being strong okay you're taming your weaknesses with this situation or with this person and moving forward and then you have the six of cups which is about your children or um, family reunions feeling good again going back to how it was in the past nostalgia okay emotional renewal a, a renewal emotionally in this in this relationship obstacles and the lovers okay all right Scorpio so what I'm hearing from this is there is going to be some hardship. I feel like this person hasn't completely changed. Okay, There was some good moments. You almost had it there. But it's still going to be hard. It's going to be rough. Okay, So you have to make a decision with the lover's card. If this is something that you want to keep in your life. The decision is yours. Okay, The decision is yours. Even though the universe is calling for you to be patient. And have faith. Okay, Because victory is there all right so but i feel like with with the chariot card you make a decision okay you make a decision with the three of to wait okay i feel like you make a decision to pause and you really feel like this because you feel like you've done a lot and you just want to receive the same amount of effort that you're giving okay which is completely understandable you're worn out. You're worn out and tired, okay? You're restless for things to to happen. I mean, it's like you're 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 tired of waiting, which we've already decided. So you in the midst of you trying to decide what you want, you've made the opportunity you've made a choice, okay? You've made a choice with the temperance in reverse to see the imbalance that's within the relationship, okay? And that's the that's the thing that you are trying to fix. Okay? That's the thing that the universe is giving you the opportunity to resolve. But you're just you it just looks like you've decided to wait. Yeah, it's all about the imbalance in your family. And you just made the decision, like a very straightforward and clear decision, that the energies are just too scattered and, and everything there's just delays and frustration and you just want to take a pause for a minute okay and and see if this other person is going to attempt to walk towards you okay after you've given all of this energy which is completely understandable so i'm going to pull some oracle cards for you the first one i'm going to pull is a major arcana card for where you are within your lesson on your journey The devil in reverse. Mm. The devil is about bondage and it's about letting go, breaking free, reclaiming your power, detaching from things that no longer serve you. Okay. And I'm going to pull a love card. Separation. So there is a separation in your love life. Obviously, that's what comes here. You're like, listen, I want to see what you're going to do for me. Okay. What your higher self would like you to know about this situation. Guilt. I release any belief that no longer assists in my soul growth. This is not your fault, and you need to release guilt from this situation. I'm definitely hearing that for you, okay? You need to release the guilt. It's not about you, and that and this is hindering your soul's growth, and I feel like you figure that out here at the end when you decide that they're going to have to actually put in some, little, some effort towards you, okay? So let's get a surrender card. What would Scorpio need to surrender during this time? This fell right out. Surrender excessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. 
doing so will help you bring bring you clarity and even solve the problem all right so it's like you made the decision to let spirit handle it it's like you made the decision to let the universe to let the universe take control which they already do have control but you release the need to try to have control over the situation you also had two of these cards fall out balance and healing okay so this is about you balancing the power in this situation one person shouldn't have more power than the other one person shouldn't feel out of balance because another is 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 pushing them in a way that is not is not good for them okay and this is about healing realizing that the angels and the universe is here for you okay they're giving you opportunities and they're giving this person opportunities and and this is a time for you to heal yourself at this point okay all right so i'm going to pull a card from the wisdom of the oracle deck for you scorpio TikTok. Let's get this artwork. You know how I am about these cards. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. Okay. So TikTok. Timelessness. Divine timing. Immeasurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People who came to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if it isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, creativity beauty, chaos, and order were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create your life you desire. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape every moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Scorpio, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That is in the bottom, or the link is in the bottom below. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.